Welcome back. Today we're going to see an important feature that is in our Modus Controls plugin. So we might have both coupons and discount rules created from our plugin running together, right? So you might have situations where you need to choose how they should be working either together. That means a WooCommerce coupon and the discount rule created from our plugin. They shall run together or you may also choose to disable one or the other. So today we're going to see how we can do that using our plugin, using an important feature that we have. Okay, the feature is this. So all that you have to do is navigate to the settings tab. And in the general settings, you'll be able to see this option. Choose how discount rules should work. You also have a document. Yes. So here's how you're going to choose how the external coupons, which is WooCommerce or a third party coupon and the discount rules created from our plugin works together or not. Okay, so I'm going to show you through the options that are available. I'm going to show you how those options work for different scenarios. Yes. So let both coupons and discount rules run together is the first option. You can also just click on that and see the other options available. So the first option enables both WooCommerce coupons or third party coupons and the discount rules created from our plugin. They work together. And the second option is disable the coupons. You know, the WooCommerce or the third party coupon is disabled and only the discount rules will work. Yes. And the third is disable the discount rules. You can only use WooCommerce or a third party coupon. Yes. So we're going to che check the first option available. You can don't forget to click on save changes. And then in the cart, you can see that my store wide rule has been applied to your cart. I have a store wide rule that is giving 20% off on all products. So you can see that rule is successfully applied. And then here is a coupon named Bonanza. So this coupon Bonanza is actually a WooCommerce coupon that I've created. And you know, I've entered it here. So it is applied. So this is the first option, both the WooCommerce coupon and the discount rule created from our plugin runs together without any issue. This is the first feature. Let's move on to the second feature. The second feature is, I mean, the second option is disable the coupons. That means only the discount rule should work and the WooCommerce coupon should be eliminated. Okay, so let's just go to the card and have a check now. Now you can see that there's a message that states, sorry, it is not possible to apply coupon Bonanza as you already have a discount applied in cart. So this is the second feature. You can now see only the discount rule is applied and the WooCommerce coupon Bonanza that I added earlier here has disappeared. It's because the setting doesn't allow it to do so. So this is the second option we have. Okay, now let's go back and see what's the third option. Third option is disable the discount rules. Only the external coupon or a WooCommerce coupon should work. Okay, so now let's navigate to the card and then yes card and then refresh it now you'll see that this discount rule works but it should not only the coupon should work so we'll try entering the WooCommerce coupon named Bonanza yes apply coupon and then now you will see only the coupon code has been applied and all the 20% off the discount rule is gone and only the coupon Bonanza works so these are the three available options in our plugin which is great now I just want to give you a note and that is when we say coupons do not work when we you know use these three options disable the coupons let both coupons or disable the discount rules all these three options are exclusively for WooCommerce coupon or a third party coupon suppose if you have a discount rule that you have created and you have a coupon in the condition that has been created from our plugin then this feature doesn't involve you know interfere with that so this is a coupon created from our plugin so this discount rule will work regardless of the settings that are applied there that is to keep it simple that those three options does not apply to coupons created from our plugin hope that is making sense and thank you so much for watching the video bye bye